Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to a Let's Play of Pokemon Yellow. Yellow, crystal, red, blue, green, whatever you wanted to call it. Jeez, I can't believe I called it yellow. Ugh. <laughs> Anyways, we have left off in the normal gym. We got our third party member. And now it is time to crusade further into the normal gym, filled with normal things and normal topics. I love payday. Payday used to give me a whole lot of money. Actually, I wonder, even if the opponent uses payday, do I still get some kind of money out of it, or is it just the user? Pretty sure it's just the user, but hey, whatever. Doesn't matter. The move payday absolutely does nothing except just the coins. Absolutely nothing. Should not be used for anything but the coins. And anyways, using an amulet coin, which is a held item, already boosts up money enough to the point where you don't even need payday, to be honest. Um, but in later, later generations, Meowth actually gets really cool um, uh, passive, which allows him to pick up uh, items. And the higher level he is, the, the rarer the items, which is really cool. I remember training up like two Meowths in Generation 4 and just walking back and forth battling Pokemon and whatever. And uh, just watching my guys gang elixirs all over the place. I like having items like those that make me Anyways, that was pretty gruesome what that Meowth did to me. Picked up six Oh, I still get money even if the opponent uses it. That's swell. Be right back. Alright, let's get back right into this. Don't let my Pokemon's cute looks fool you. They can whip you. Oh, my. No, get out of here, Zarbon. Anyways, uh, last carry is going to get snubbed out. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh. One thing that kind of just rubbed me off the wrong way about the schnubble is that skirt effect around its feet. It's just meh. But anyway. Um, Bampy should be very good to go. The Sunflora and Croconut are already at level 24, and I just kind of wanted to give Bampy a little bit. Um, she's been missing out quite a lot, actually, so I kind of feel bad, so I'm giving her some opportune time. This is her gym to shine. Absolutely her gym to shine. Darn, I thought you were weak. You did. It's just that you haven't met my Fampy before. My Fampy can be very, very gruesome. Yeah, so that's the gym leader up there, but if you actually really just want to skip it, get, skip the trainer right here, you could, but hey, where's the fun in that? Last Bridget wants to fire. Last Bridget sends out a uh, Puff Jiggler. Right, look at the jigglinism. It's jiggling all over the place. Well, at least it can't grow to extremely large proportions if set on the right stage with a smash ball. Don't you dare put a thank you. Um, that's also one of the quotes every time when a Pokemon... A yes! Thank you! Has a status ailment or something bad. It's like, don't you dare do that to thank you. It's always cutting off the name. <sighs> yeah, get all puffed up, Jigglypuff. But you still can't do anything against my cute little elephant. Don't you? Mm. Oh, she dared. Oh, she dared. Time, what you gonna do now? What are you gonna do now? I'm gonna play all about like a ninny. Yeah. Ow, pound. Right in the face. Didn't pound get like a boost up in power at some point in time? I think so. Ouch. I know that, uh, is it this generation that grants the Pokemon stab same type attack bonus? Uh, basically, what that means, for people who do not know, is that if the Pokémon is using a move that's exactly the same type as the move it used, it gains like a 10% power bonus? I think that I think that's how much it is. I, I can't be completely sure, but in any case, it's more power. It's uh, slightly more powerful when it's used in conjunction like that. So it's even more useful to have Pokémon with the same moves. But that still doesn't mean that you shouldn't have uh, Pokémon with absolutely bizarre moves because that can actually really help you. Like having a grass Pokémon with an ice move. That'd be wicked. Oh no no no! And I'm not counting Schnovel. Is this his name? 
the Pokemon from Generation 4. Anyways, off to the daycare center. And what I mean by daycare center, I meant the health the Poke Center. And then it's off to fight the gym leader. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, it is time. Hi, I'm Whitney. Everyone was into Pokemon, so I got into it too. Pokemon are super cute. You want to battle? I'm warning you, I'm good. Oh my. A lot of people are quivering right now of what she has, but I am prepared. I'm very much prepared. Hi Clefairy, how you doing? Um, if you don't mind, I'm going to take this opportunity to just defense curl, just a little bit, because that would be very useful. Ow! You smack- Why is it always freaking- Really? That's exactly what I mean, people. It's always the AI that, that does that. God damn it. Ow, don't slap my elephant around like you just don't care. I'm actually not what move going to pull out. Flail. I was very afraid of, you know, certain moves like, oh, by the way, uh, well, I shouldn't spoil it, but in any case, metronome, here we go again, what move is it? Dig. Okay. <laughs> Just reminds me of seeing Diglett using Fly in Pokemon Stadium. Oh, look, it's soaring to the air. It's floating from the ground. What the heck? Where? In any case, Clefairy, it's time to die now. Uh, all right, all right, enough. We get it. Ow. We get it that you don't like me. You don't like the elephant per se. You probably like. Yeah, yeah. Good job, Fampy. Mimic tackle. All right, do as you please. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's a very useful move. Go ahead, have a ball with it. Metronome. Use bide. Okay. Well. TM useless has been used by Clefairy. I was so waiting for that to be uh, spoken about. Fampy's trying to learn about takedown. Oh, that's pretty cool. Although that will hurt my Fampy like no tomorrow. So I'm probably going to stick with tackle and or flail. Here it comes. Leader Whitney is about to use mill tank. Now, what is a mill tank? You might ask. It's a freaking cow, people. What else do you think it is? I, 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 I okay, well, it hasn't done its move yet that everybody hates to use. Well, still. It's a good thing I defense curled up because uh, tanks versus tanks is A okay. Especially when I'm the one with the most uh, stuff going for it. Okay, oh, of course, keep damaging my Fampy. The, the more you damage him, the more I'm gonna get powerful with my. That's it, roll out. Exactly the move. Just like that Meryl in that one episode, the AI will constantly hit people with that rollout and it just annoys them. And I think this milk tank also knows the move milk. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Milk drink. You know what milk drink does? Bam. All that damage, all healed up. So what we'll do is just roll out, roll out, roll out, just massacre the Pokemon, and then, you know, whatever it feels like it, boom, drink up the milk, boys. That's really odd. Like, what does the mill tank do? Exactly. Remind me, ladies and gentlemen. No, actually, don't. I really, no, don't. No, really, don't. Don't. <laughs> Take that, other mitts. Yeah. Fampy. Fampy is my girl. I almost said boy. But I can't. Why? You mean you shouldn't be so serious? You child, you? I don't... <gasps> no way! I didn't know Fabi evolved this early! Congratulations! Your Fampy has evolved into Dom Fan! Oh, yes. Dom Fan's trying to learn Fury Attack. Ugh. Really not that useful. Actually, I really don't want to pain you guys just with the multiple times it'll have to hit and go through the animation and all that stuff. Wah! Wah! Sniffle hick, you're meanie! Ah, oh, what a sore loser. Oh no, you made Whitney cry. It's okay, she'll stop soon. She only cries when she loses. Arr. Sniff. What? What do you want? A badge? Oh right, I forgot. Here's plain badge. Oh wow. That's very original. 
Outside of battle, it'll also boost your Pokemon's speed. Oh, you can have this too. Time received. DM for the bab. Delicious. It's a track. It makes full use of a Pokemon's charm. is isn't just perfect for a cutie like me. <laughs> get me out of here, people. I don't want to be up here anymore. I want to get out of this gym now. Because, uh... To tell you the brutal honesty of honest truths, we're about to get our fourth member. Yes. People who are like, oh my god, you're kidding me. It's him? Are you kidding me? And I say, no. Um, I'm actually being incredibly random tonight. Um, so let's go ahead and get what we need in order to progress through the game. Because, uh, we wouldn't otherwise get through anywhere. If you quite remember, during that dead end, we saw a, uh, the bottom of that, uh, swag tree that, um, we've seen before, that break dances whenever he wants. Uh, unfortunately, he's blocking our way. So, la 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 la, la I have plenty of fla I have water, my lovely. All oh, right, we gotta talk to her. When I told my sis about the jiggly tree, she told me it's dangerous. If I beat Whitney, I wonder if she'll lend me her water bottle. Her? Oh, you're better than Whitney. You'll be okay. Then, here's the squirt bottle. Alrighty then, and now it's time to go on the quest for actual water. I don't know why I can't use Croconaut to freaking douse the tree, but whatever. <laughs> uh, Anywho, I'm gonna make some couple preparations. Oh, Arnie. Who's Arnie? Who are you wearing? I'm always with Venonat. It's so cute, I just love it. Changing the top gear. I saw this Pidgey for the first time. You saw. You. <sighs> Brain aneurysm coming in hot. Anyways, I'm gonna get prepared. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to find out what the heck is this thing. Tyrant used a squirt bottle. Oh God, the weird tree doesn't like the squirt bottle. The weird tree attacked. Oh God, here it comes. Let's get it go. Wild Suda would have appeared, and it's resonating swag. Look at the swag it's resonating. Now you might be asking yourself, why is that not why is that not very effective? Well, it is because of the fact it is not a grass Pokemon, but a rock Pokemon. That's why it does not like the water from the Squirt Bottle. That wasn't obvious enough. Now, actually, I ha I hope that Sudowoodo doesn't use the uh, takedown at any point in the fight, because this is the only Sudowoodo you'll be able to fight in the game. So, unless you have a brother, mother, father, sister, friend who is willing to trade you their Sudowoodo, you're uh, out of luck if you kill it. So, I recommend saving the game before you even fight this thing. Um, so, let's go ahead and try to catch it now. Alright, Sudowoodo, you are mine! Come here. And I just looked at the stats of Donphan, and now Donphan is completely decked out, like for real. Now the one thing that can be really annoying about Sudowoodo is the flail. If you're trying to catch Pokemon, I hate when you're trying to catch Pokemon and it has a recovery move, or, uh, or a move that does even worse things than before. I hate Pokemon. I, you know, there's one thing I hate about, uh, certain Pokemon, is that when they run away, and once you do have a move or an ability that stops them, they can use Roar or Whirlwind, and even if you can somehow bypass that, oh, guess what, I can recover the damage. Oh, that's so freaking annoying. Especially in Generation 4, in the Platinum Edition, once you uh, beaten the game, you have the opportunity to fight the legendary birds from the first game. The, one of the most annoying features is that the Pokemon has Roost, so that means you have to spend all that time just bringing it back down, hoping you don't kill the sucker, and then just... Oh, it's so annoying. Anyways, speaking of annoying, this Pseudo Widow is being incredibly annoying itself, and my Dom fan's gonna die soon because of that. Come on, Sudowoodo, just get in the Pokeball. When I mean by Pokeball, I mean Greatball. Come on, come on, come on! Yes! Our fourth member has been caught. 
So the widow's data was, at, was newly added to the Bogodex. If a tree branch shakes when there's no wind, it's a pseudo widow, not a tree. It hides from the rain. Sure, let's give a name to it. Let's name it. Uh. Come on now. There we go. Alright, people, we got our fourth party member. I'm gonna grind them up real quick, get into the next town, and call it an episode. Huh. In the grass before you reach the bug catching contest, you can find real lives here. I did not know that, so if you guys like rock Pokemon or an actual desperate need of a rock Pokemon, you'll find a grow life here. I'm pretty sure it's in the morning, so make sure you do that. And I completely forgot about this Pokemon, Yanma. Just like the Growlithe, you can find it here too. Now, I'm pretty sure I don't want to use Rock Throw because I'll probably kill the poor Yanma in one go. Uh, pretty much the only thing that Yanma has is speed. I'm not sure if it really has anything else. Probably a little bit of attack, but really, Yanma is probably way too fragile to be anything other than harassment. And that doesn't really make much sense. Um,. Unless I'm just... I, I, I haven't used Yama, or uh, in future generation Yama will become slightly more useful, but even that, it hasn't convinced me to use the family of the Yama. Um, I don't know, I just think that... I mean, speed? Sure, speed's really great, and there's, cert there's a lot of strategies and moves that you can do in order to make that speed useful, but I don't know, it just doesn't really do anything for me. Anyways, hopefully I catch it and I'll see you guys in a couple more seconds because this sh All right, ladies and gentlemen, since we now caught Pseudo Widow, we now have a permanent shortcut between the very beginning town and this route, which shall be very quite useful. Trainer tips, use dig to return to the entrance of any place. It is convenient for exploring caves and other landmarks. Quite so. So, Let's just demonstrate the power of swag. Because now that I grinded it up, which actually did not take long whatsoever, swag is actually quite a monster in itself. I like having some kind of rock type move because um, it's deceptively manipulative on uh, opponents' weaknesses. And yes, I taught him fire punch from the uh, department store near the highest floor level. You can buy Headbutt, Fire Punch, Ice Punch, Thunder Punch, and uh, I actually used up all my money to buy up Ice Punch and Fire Punch. Fire Punch is obviously on Swag, and Ice Punch is on uh, Crocona. So that's also very good. Now, I don't want to give Swag all the attention, even though he is the meaning of Swag itself. So let's demonstrate off Sunflora. So our goal now is to get some floor and Krokona back up to par, and then continue on with our espionage throughout the game. Like I said, Sunflora is going to be slightly... Mm, it's going to take some time for Sunflora to build up, but when she do once he does, he's going to be great. He's going to be an absolute special attack annihilator. Which is what I need, because basically the rest of my Pokémon are physical attackers, and I need to splice it up. Um, and I also need, uh, I have two Pokemon that are very bulky. Actually, I have now, considering the rock type of, uh, Suda Widow, uh, he's also quite bulky in his own sense, too. Um, so, aw, oh man, I forgot to switch. Pokemon can't do a thing, they are sleep. I'll show you how scary that is. Oh, dear lord. I call the sleep cause... Drowsy. Now, I always thought that his, from the first evolution to the second evolution, was very bizarre. Like, how did you get from an elf, uh, a fat, multicolored elephant to that thing with a huge schnauzer and a mane? How? What? Aw, oh, great. Uh, I just want to get to the next town, show you guys what that's all about, and then call it off an episode. Oh jeez, he's got Stream Eater. All right, um, um, move, 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 move. Come on, I can't stay like this anymore. Uh, Pokemans. All right, Crocona. Crocona should wipe out him very quickly because of the bite. 
so that should be great. Ah, uh -huh, I'm not asleep, so you couldn't eat my dreams. Get out of here. Oh no, don't you. I don't know what to say. <sighs> I swear, if I wake up... Thank you. <laughs> I was gonna say, if I wake up at the fifth turn, and then it just returns to the damage, and then he hypnoses me again, it's like... Ugh, you must troll. I lost. That's pretty sad. Yeah, it is pretty sad. And so is your life. You good-for-nothing psychic. Anyways, there is some unique Pokemon in this grass, but I guess I'll show it off at another time. Anthony, what do you want? Are you Pokemon feisty as ever, my Geodude and me? We have energy to burn, but we hike up the mountains every day to work out all of our energy. Lately, I've been running across wild hip-hop. Hop? Hip-hop? Hip-hop? Well, I can't be full blame for that, because if you reverse the bowels of the, the order, then you got hip-hop, so... Alright, <laughs> it's not that bad, but Pidgey's bad! Pidgey! Let's go find out what the berry is, get into town, and call an episode! Anyways, um, this has been a let's play of Pokemon Crystal! Not yellow, Crystal! Is all these freaking trees Apricorns? That would be very disappointing. No, I don't want to tame the- oh, whatever. I hope each and one of you have a fantastic day. Question of the video will be in the description. So I guess I'll see you next time. Peace, see you later. Oh, and as a bonus feature, as I was going to this Pokemon to heal up my Pokemon just to leave it off for the next episode, let's go ahead, cut away this tree and see what we get. Hyper Potion. Ain't bad whatsoever. Anyways, now I'll see you guys in the next episode.